let's take our next question that is question number five now the question you see here belongs to chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance question says an electric dipole with dipole moment of this value is held fixed at origin o in the presence of a uniform electric field e naught the direction of which is not specified if the potential is constant on the circle of radius r centered at the origin as shown in the figure then the correct statement is an r so let's see first what the diagram is so this is the diagram where this is the ring having equal potential at each and every point and this is the dipole which is centered at origin and directed at this line that is 45 degree with x and y axis now what the questions or what the statements are so the first statement is total electric field at b is required then total electric field at a is required radius in terms of e naught is required and the d statement says the, about the magnitude of electric field at any two points on the ring right in order to solve this question first we need to find the magnitude of this dipole moment so what would be the magnitude so p is given to be p naught root 2 i cap plus p naught upon root 2 j cap when you find the magnitude p you will get as p naught right now when you have the magnitude let's talk about the direction of electric fields when you see the diagram you will find that this dipole will exert an electric field ea that is axial electric field at this point a which should be in line with the dipole moment and the magnitude would be 2 k p naught upon r cube and r being the radius of the circle similarly at point b the electric field will be transverse electric field opposite to the dipole moment and the magnitude would be k p naught upon r cube now when you want to talk about e naught the very first important observation is that if we want same potential at every point of the ring the tangential component of electric field at every point should be zero in order to achieve that here e naught should be in this direction then only it will be able to cancel this and in here if e naught is in this direction then also you don't have any tangential component at point a that means the e naught is having the proper suitable direction along the dipole moment that's why you can say that at b if e naught cancels et then there is no tangential component and that's why the magnitudes get zero so if you understand properly at point b e naught should be equal to et that is equals to k p naught by r q now from here you can also interpret let's take this as first equation you can also interpret r is equals to k p naught upon e naught 1 by 3 and this k can also be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p naught upon e naught 1 by 3 this is the option c we wanted right what is the electric field at b then so if you talk about the net electric field at b it will be simply represented as eb is equals to et minus e naught and since they are equal that means they should be zero so electric field at b is zero when you talk about point a at point a so the net electric field would be sum of ea and the electric field e naught now this is written as 2 k p naught upon r cube plus e naught so as you have just seen here that k p naught upon r cube is equals to e naught in that case 2 k p naught upon r cube can be written as 2 e naught so in that case here e this k p naught upon r cube becomes e naught so e at a will be equal to 2 e naught plus e naught that would be equals to 3 e naught so now you have the electric field at a point as 3 e naught let's see which are the best suited options here so among the four options which are visible to us the very first point is correct that is total electric field at point b is zero second the total electric field at point a is this no this would be wrong as we have 
found this otherwise. C point is definitely correct. Now let's talk about D. The magnitude of total electric field on any two points of the circle will be same. No, as you can see here, the electric field at B and A are different. So this is also wrong. Thus, the correct answer to this question should be option A and C. So let me write that for you. I hope you have understood the question very well. Now let's move on to our next question. That is question number six.